Hey church family, oh my goodness, it is the new year and we're so excited that you are joining. On behalf of Pastor Anthony, Pastor Brenda and the entire Celebration Church family, we want to welcome you, yes you, to Celebration Church and we're so glad that you joined us this morning. Hey, I hope you got your Bible. If you don't, take your Bible, whether it's paperback or digital, grab it and let's get ready for a dynamic word from our pastor, Pastor Anthony Vaughn. What's going on, church family? Pastor Anthony here. Come on, I want to say Happy New Year to you and your loved ones. Come on, you guys are bringing in a new year. Come on, hopefully you're bringing in a new year right from the comfort of your home. Come on, I, I want to introduce you to my home. Come on, Happy New Year. We're we're both in the home, and what better way to kick off the new year with, with showing appreciation for all that God has done in 2022. But real quick, for 2023, come on, here's what we're believing. We are believing that this will be your best year ever. And here's why. This will be your best year ever. Why? Because this will be your best spiritual year ever. When we put God first, the best is yet to come. So we're proclaiming it. But right before we jump into 2023, come on, what better way than to spend some time on January the 1st, just showing appreciation for all that God has done through Celebration Church at our DC location for 2022. Wow, family, I I'm so blown away of just the milestones, the wins, the testimonies, the stories that we can, that we had the opportunity to, to walk with God. I love it in Matthew 7. It says this family. It's when Jesus speaks about the firm foundation. And, and when he speaks about the firm foundation, it, it lets us know that whatever you are building, if it's built on that rock, it will not fall. The wind may blow, the, the rain can come, but if it's built on the foundation of Jesus Christ, it can withstand anything. I believe our church has that testimony that is walking in that grace. And, and for today, family, come on, this, this is going to be pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm really excited to dive in. We, we have so many wins here at Celebration Church, but we want to take our top five. And, 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 and maybe it's not top five. It's, it's some of our favorites, to be honest. I want to loosen up a little bit for you guys, because this is some of our favorite moments there's so many moments. We, we, don't, we can't be here for two, three hours just sharing all of them. But do me a huge favor. Even right now, just put it in the chat. What, what are some of your favorite moments from 2022? The impact of the church, some of the, the events, the wins, the milestones, when, you, when you're seeing the, the movement of God. Just go ahead and put it in the chat because I want, I want to hear from you guys, but I want to share the first one. Come on. If I can take you back. To number one right here, January, we kicked off our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Wow, this was such an incredible, incredible move of God there. For 21 straight days, family, come on, if you remember, just put it in the chat, come on. We jumped on our virtual prayer call for 21 straight days of beginning our morning with God and, and God's people at 7 a.m. And I'm telling you, family, this was a time of refreshing. Man, God was speaking to us. Healing was happening. Breakthrough, what was happening. What, what better way to kickstart your year with prayer and fasting? If I can do shameless, if I can do a plug real quick, come on, start next Sunday, January the 8th. Come on, we will be kicking off our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And, and it's a great opportunity to start this year proclaiming and believing that God is getting ready to do above and beyond for you and your family. Come on, Ephesians 3.20. And we're doing it with, 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 with prayer and fasting. Man, if I can, if I just want to be a little bit more open, because this is what today is all about, just sharing a little bit of my heart. I remember for 21 straight days, and shout out to our, our, our prayer team, and our, our prayer team who, who, who always has prayer on Sunday morning, and, and I love just the, the, the testimonies and the stories 
Man, I'm telling you, family, just on a prayer call, we can feel the presence of God. Man, maybe, maybe you're in a season of isolation right now. And I'm telling you, maybe you're feeling in a season right now where you're just by yourself and you don't know how you're going to get over this obstacle or or maybe you're you're setting out some resolutions. Come on, you're casting some new vision. What better way to get some clear instructions from God was starting out your year. Man, this was a phenomenal, a phenomenal time. And I'm telling you, you if, if I could just take you back a little bit, man, just put it in the chat real quick. But that the breakthrough that was happening, it, it blows my mind. But I, I want to move on to, to number two. Number two, come on. Number two in February. Anybody remember Vision Sunday? Whoo! Vision Sunday. I'm telling you, family, duh. And do you remember the anticipation that was in the room? I mean, right even before service started at 10, 10 a.m., I'm telling you, people, you can feel the expectation. You can feel the anticipation. Come on, we, we have family in the room. Come on, shout out to our global senior pastor, Pastor Tim, uh, Tim Timberlake and Jen Timberlake. Come on, we, we love you guys so much. And we also have our, our, good, our good brothers and sisters. Come on, Pastor Keith Pittman and, and Megan Pittman. And we had a bunch of our other celebrities leaders here to help us cast vision for this location. Man, if I can also be a little bit honest, come on, we, me and Pastor Brenda, we, we were installed as lead pastors for this location. Wow, I mean, just to go back, God has gave us this word, even for that February moment to embrace the yes. If I could be a little bit, a little bit more honest, I remember I received that word and around Thanksgiving of 2020, 21. And he was saying, God was saying, Anthony, embrace the yes. Maybe there's, there's some things in your life that's kind of hard to embrace right now. And God is trying to show you how to get some understanding or, or even lean into some faith with it because you don't understand what the future may hold. But I remember this family, this is why Vision Sunday means so much to me and Pastor Brenda. As soon as we embrace the yes, the rest of the vision begin to unfold. Maybe, maybe God is just waiting for you to just hug the yes, become one with the yes. Maybe you don't fully understand it. Maybe you don't even know what the next step after that is going to look like, but what Vision Sunday showed for this house, as soon as we embrace the yes, God shows us how to become the yes. And man, Vision Sunday was just incredible and it, it just set a motion for everything that God was doing. What, 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 put it in the chat. What were some of your favorite things about Vision Sunday? Worship was amazing. Come on, we, we took communion uh, even, as a, even as a church family and it just set in motion some incredible things that God has did, has, was getting ready to do in our life for the season of the church. I love this next one, family. I really do. I love this next one. And the third one is in April. Come on, we, we had our first dream team night for the year. You may be asking, what, what is our dream team? Our dream team is a collector of believers right here at Celebration Church. This is our team who come together to make sure the dream, the vision comes to pass. I mean, these are our serving team. So let, let me just take some time out and shout out our serving team. Come on, Sunday is not possible without this team. I want to shout out our Sea Kids team, our, our youth team. Come on, worship and our production team, our, our guest service and our usher team. Come on. Thank God for our setup and teardown team. Come on, Mobile Church. Come on, it's, it's a little cold out there. Thank God for our setup and teardown team. We, we have our prayer and our care teams. It's just so many teams that call, that, that come together, that call Celebration Church home, but it's not possible without them. See, here's the importance of why this is a huge milestone and a huge, a huge win for this DC location because the Dream Team Night, it's, it's a night of inspiration. It's a night of engagement where we, we get to come together, but it's also a night of fun. We're, we're all about family. If I can be honest with you, even coming out of the pandemic, our, 
our team shrunk because of the pandemic. We're, we wasn't back in service in 2020 and in the early part of 2021. And we've seen our teams begin to uh, kind of shrink on us a little bit. And, and now being back, uh, going into uh, April, we have been in, back in in-person service for several months now. I even remember, come on, can I take you back to being in Regal, Kingstown? Even our C Kids team, there wasn't a C Kids team, if I can be honest. We had one volunteer. We didn't even have a full functional kids ministry. Our first onboard and rant was actually, come on, you remember our family lounge? Come on, it was a place where we created for the crying babies to go so they won't disturb the service and, and kind of kind of scooter you out of the, the mood, out of the theater, the sanctuary over to another theater. You, anybody remember the family lounge? But wow, by April, come on. Not, not only did we have a full functional kids ministry, but we also began to see our kids team grow from three volunteers to five volunteers to 10 volunteers to, to now we have, we have C kids toddlers and C kids youth and C kids elementary. Like it, it, this C kids ministry begins to grow and, it's, and these are things that we're celebrating. We, through this year family, I'm so overwhelmed of, of, of the many individuals who are embracing the yes here at Celebration Church. This is why Dream Team Night is, uh, is so huge to my heart, just even seeing our, our worship team begin to grow. To, to just having one worship leader now, we it almost felt like we have a choir up there. Come on, somebody, where's the robe at? <laughs> like, our team is growing. Our production team is growing. All of our teams are growing and, and I'm so blown away. Just put it in the, in the chat. Give me some fire emoji. Just, just shout out our dream team because these are the individuals who are helping cultivate an atmosphere so that other people can say yes. You guys still believe there are souls that need to be saved. You guys still believe that, that, that God is still changing and saving lives. And here's how we partner Serving is so big, and that's why Dream Team Night is a night of inspiration to, to feed us of knowing that when we serve, it's just not for the other individual all the time. It's actually for my own soul. My soul becomes whole when we begin to serve. So we, we celebrate these milestones, and in my fourth one, come on, we moved to July. This is a, another big one. Come on, let me know if you remember this one. Anybody Remember, serve day and serve Sunday in the month of July. Come on, the hot weather, the hot month. But serving here at Celebration Church for the DC location and for all of our organization, is huge to our heart. I will always say this family, we, we are not just a church. We get to do outreach. We are outreach. We don't have just an outreach event or an outreach department. We are outreach powered by a church. We are the intangible hands of Jesus. We are the tangible hands and the tangible feet of Jesus Christ. And on this particular month, we, we had served Sunday and also our served day. And I'm, I'm so overblown from our partnerships that we have. Come on, shout out, Be The Good Projects. Our church family came together where we, we packaged over 600 sandwiches for families to feed families. We also took a trip to Carpenter Shelter. Shout out to, to the Carpenter Shelter here in the city of, city of Alexandria, and they, they're here to aid homelessness. We actually went into their facility and we, we did a deep clean and come on, we got in there. We, we scrubbed around just to bring a uplifting and, 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 and revamp their, their outdoor space for all of their, their tenants. Like, I, we were so overwhelmed and so just grateful that God would give us the opportunity to make a difference for somebody else. This is the heart of Jesus. This is the heart of this church. How can we go the extra mile for somebody else to put a smile on their face, but even more important, to present the love of Jesus Christ so that eternity can be saved, can be changed. Wow, church, this is, this is who we are. This is who we are and we continue to, to lean into these moments. And my last one, come on, I said top five. 
but there's so many more. Come, we, 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 we can go all evening. Come on, we can go all day. But my last one is, this one is close to my heart. Ah, come on, ladies. Do you remember Sisterhood Conference? Woof. Sisterhood Conference. I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm a little jealous. I, 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 I just seen the pictures and I just heard the testimonies, the stories, and I've seen the videos, but just the stories and testimonies alone of the freedom that so many women were impacted and set free at the Sisterhood Conference in November. Well, I shout out to my babe, Pastor Brenda, I love you so much. She did an incredible job of leading this moment, just ministering and, and touching the people and, and allowing the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to be with her and guide her and, and minister right to the heart. And all this, the testimonies that came through and the, the, the one word that continued to release from that moment was freedom and also peace. Actually two words, it was freedom and peace. So many women were, were set free and, and this is what our sisterhood ministry is all about. There, there were many different events from our sisterhood groups throughout the year, through our sisterhood brunch early in the year. You can be expecting more even in this year uh, of just seeing our sisterhood ministry begin to expand and grow. Come on, Pastor Brennan does such an awesome job. She, she has such a huge heart and gift and calling for women. And we're just praying that even in this season that God will begin to touch her because wow, she's going to be doing some amazing things and I'm just so grateful to have a front row seat just to see what God is getting ready to do. But family, that's, that's top five right there. But you know what? I, I really, I feel like I can't stop right there. there, there there's so many, I wanna share just some bonuses real quick. Is that okay, can, can, I, can I share some bonuses? Our Easter service was pretty good at Regal Kingstown Theater. But I'm not gonna share like stats, like how many attendees we had and, and, and all of that. Here's an incredible story that I love uh, for our Easter service. And it didn't even happen during the service. It was service for someone after the service. How about that? I remember our first time, our first time guests enjoyed the service, God moved, but on the way from leaving the parking lot, uh, she, her car got stuck. And I remember she was actually on a rock. It wasn't a rock of G's, it was, it was a, a boulder. She was, her car was stuck on a rock in the parking lot. And man, I remember our team, probably about 20 individuals, we walked over to the parking lot and we were like, hey, we can either call a tow truck or we can come together as the people of God and lift her car up and allow her to back up to get off the rock. Can I, can I ask you what decision option do you think we went with? No, we did not call AAA. We are AAA. We lifted her car up off of the boulder and she pulled back and she was just overwhelmed. I know she was a little embarrassed, but she just loved that our church would go the extra mile. Man, this is an extra mile church. Speaking about extra miles, I also remember a baptism. While we being a mobile ministry, sometimes baptism can be a little bit of a struggle. Man, I remember in, in July, actually, we, 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 we found a neighborhood pool, pretty much like an Airbnb for pools. And, and, and our team reached out and we signed up for it. There, there was an individual in Florida who was in town, who's part of the church, who, who was looking to get baptized. Man, we, we, we got the Airbnb pool, the neighborhood pool, a beautiful day. And guess what we did, family? We, we drove over to the house and we baptized the, the, the son and the father. We baptized them and they shared a beautiful moment. Matter of fact, it was a stepfather and a child and it was a union for them coming together. And we, the church went the extra mile. Here's what I'm sharing my heart is what I believe in this year, 2023, God is saying, Celebration Church, how can you even go the extra mile for somebody else? We have the heart to go the extra mile. Man, speaking of extra miles, I also remember our church. There was a family who, because they had a newborn and, and of course the, the pandemic and, 
and face mask regulations and COVID. Come on, COVID is still real. Come on. And, and I remember they just, just a little bit nervous but still coming back. Completely, uh, completely understandable. And but they had a passion to get their little one dedicated. Can you you know what you know what we did, family? We we, we set we, we we set some logistics in, in, in order and said, hey, you don't have to come to us. We will come to you. Come on, that's the heart of God. And I remember our team, we went over to the house and we dedicated the little one back to the Lord. The family was overwhelmed that the church would go the extra miles. These are, these are the stories I love, family, because it shows the heart of this ministry that regardless of what the situation is, if Jesus can go the extra mile for us, we can go the extra mile for somebody else. I want to close it with this one, another bonus as we begin to wrap up this moment. A, a moment of showing appreciation, but also a moment of showing, of leaning in with expectation. The last moment will be our Impact Sunday that we celebrated uh, back in December, uh, closing out 2022. Impact Sunday, so many wins, so many testimonies, so many stories of impact of what God has de done for this ministry. We even ended the year with our impact offering. And our impact offering is actually an offering that, that just wasn't for that moment. It's an offering that you can actually dive into throughout the remaining of this year. If you even go into the webpage, you, you will see different initiatives that, that you and your family can give and sow into with a, a generous heart so that somebody else can come and love Jesus. I always say that if Jesus can go the extra mile for me, how can I sow and go the extra mile for someone else? Man, what Impact Sunday and Impact Offering did for this church, it really, it really shows us that when we always lead with a heart of generosity, it will always open up the impossibility that God can do. Wow, family. I hope you took take a moment on this New Year's as you're carving out, hopefully, as you're carving out some new vision, maybe resolution, carving out some, getting away from some distractions, getting ready for the fast that's getting ready to, to begin. Just like we begin this time together, here's my propheticness to you. I believe this, that this will be your best year ever because this is your best year spiritually. When we put God first, the impossible is always present. Man, family, we, we, we love you so much. Let me, let me pray over you guys. And, and like I said, Happy New Year. We have so much to be grateful for. But when we walk with God, our best is yet to come. Heavenly Father, we love you. We honor you. We thank you for this moment of reflection. We thank you for this moment of remembrance. That when we walk with you, Lord God, as you even taught the Israelites to always be in a posture of remembrance. When we remember your hand, when we remember your strength, when we remember that you have always said you will always be with us. So we take hold of that today and we lean in with expectation, knowing that you are stirring up, that you are creating something that you are setting some things in motion according to your purpose, and it's all for us. Thank you for your hand that covers this church. Thank you for your wisdom and guidance and, and for all of the households that's present even right now. I simply say thank you that your presence and hand is over them. You are the protector. You are the guider. You are the one that gives the blessing set some things in motion. Let us sit and dwell at your feet. Why? Because the best is yet to come. It is in Jesus' name. Come on, family. Amen, amen, amen. Well, family, I love you guys so much. Come on, happy new year. Come on, we will see you next Sunday back in service. Love you guys so much.
Wow, what an amazing recap of all of what God has done last year, and we're believing Him for so much more this year. Well, if you are new here to Celebration or just giving your life to Christ, we want to invite you to take that next step. It is Next Step Sunday, and today we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do it online, so you can either click the link below or you can check out the description for more information of how to continue to grow in your faith or even serve here at Celebration. Next Sunday, we get to come back together in person We're at back. John Lewis High School yes. at 10.30 a.m. So be sure to set your alarm clocks, get there on time because you don't want to miss a minute of it. You don't want to miss I it. I can't wait to see our church family. And if you're still traveling, don't even worry about it. Yeah. We're still going to have it live for you at 5 p.m. online, so check it out. Next Monday, January 9th, kicks off our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Marquise, I don't know about you, but I am just believing for so much that yes. God is going to bring from this yes. time, not only for myself and my yeah. family to set us up for the year ahead, yeah. but for our church family. Yes. So guys, continue to lean in, continue to pray and ask God what he's calling you to fast from as we start our prayer and fasting. Yes. I can't wait to see everything that he's going to bring to our church family this it's gonna year. It's going to be amazing. Family, it's been great this week. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. So glad you joined us. Yes. Let me pray us out this week. Yes. May the Lord bless you and keep you, shine His face upon you, yes. and be gracious to you. Yes. In Jesus' name, in amen. Jesus name. We'll see you in person next week. Yes. Bye, guys.